Good morning. Did you know, if you greet somebody morning, like when you're walking by, you're just like, hey, morning, like you're not, it's not really a greeting because you're basically just saying the obvious. It's the morning. <laughs> so good morning to you. I am one of those people who just needs like complete silence. It's the first hour of the morning and you will hear my voice change throughout the day, which is completely normal, I think. But anyway, I thought that I would do a little vlog. Today's Thursday, I have a few meet and greets for some potential clients to work with. And I'm just doing like a bunch of random jobs, like computer work items today. I will bring you around. Also, you guys are out here thinking I have perfect skin, but look what I woke up with. I don't know what this is. Disclaimer, I'm definitely not out here thinking I have perfect skin because you guys can't see it now But a couple months ago your girl was really going through some eczema thing. Okay, so I mean, I guess it's not super noticeable um, Not looking in a mirror, but I mean you could still see it like I've had this patch under my eyebrow for the longest time And like my eyes just sting so it's not like I can put makeup on and cover it up because it just irritates my skin more there's like these patches on my lips and like, I don't know what's happening under my ears hurts, like under my chin too. Um, and then in the morning, my face is like, at least here, it was just like super puffy. And then at night, it just gets super itchy. Just my face and my hands. And apparently I was very stressed, but now I feel better and it's better, but I don't know what's going on with this, this little girl right here. Oh well. So I have two pairs of sweatpants that I rotate throughout the week at home. So like my tops are always cute, right? They're like, ooh, fun. Um, but these sweatpants are like, I wear one for half of the week and then the other one for the other half of the week unless they're both dirty. They're also not my sweatpants. I stole them from Luke. Well, I wore them a lot and then he just gave them to me because I kept wearing them. Why are their clothes so much more comfortable than ours? I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> She's just waiting for me. She's like, hurry up. Can you just go? While you watch the chaos of me playing with her tug toy, I thought I would tell you about the story of Kiara. Luke and I have been wanting to get a pet together for over a year now. It's just that the other place that we lived in wasn't like very conducive, in my opinion, to having a dog. Like if I had her over there, I would not be happy. Just like there wasn't enough space. And like there was another dog on the property that was not trained or socialized and it was really, really big. So it just wouldn't work out for us. So just randomly last month, <laughs> so we were at a farmer's market and Luke was like, let's go to the pound and just see the dogs over there. Mind you, he'd already been thinking about going to the pound anyway because he went to jujitsu that morning and his gym is right next to the pound. And it's just your classic love story, right? Like, I just want to see the dogs. Initially, we wanted to get an old dog um, as our first, just because, you know, rescue, like maybe the older dog would just have like a nice last home, you know? But we saw this little group of puppies at the back and they like took all of the puppies out so that we could see. And I saw this little one. I saw her speckled, little speckles. 
I didn't even see her face, right? I just saw the back and I was like, ooh, I wanna see that one. So she got put into a little room with me and Luke and another one of the volunteers at the pound. And she was just so cuddly and cute and just so sweet. We adopted her. It was not premeditated. Like the next day we went to the pet store and got the bed, we got the crate, we got toys. Ah, good girl. <laughs> So on Monday, the day before we brought her home, we just watched a bunch of YouTube videos on crate training, potty training. I had no idea what to expect. And we brought her home on Tuesday and then it commenced. It's already been over a month that I've had her and it's just been so nice. Like I had her registered as an emotional support animal as well. Having her here to just play with and be with has been such a huge emotional support for me, especially because you guys know <laughs> I'm an anxious girl. I started training her three weeks ago, I wanna say, and she's been doing so well. So she's a cattle dog terrier mix. We don't know what kind of terrier she is because she's a rescue, right? It was just a bunch of puppies from Tijuana, Mexico that were rescued and brought up to where we live. And so, yeah, they just know like, Australian cattle dog and then some kind of terrier so it could be like Jack Russell terrier mix pitbull terrier mix, who knows I will get a DNA test probably in a few years, but I just don't think it's super important right now I just want to get like the basics down of really being a good dog parent <laughs> Are you okay? And it's just been very interesting to learn Another animal's communication skills. She has different ways of communicating with me and now I understand the whole loving animals thing. I've always said I respect animals, but I'm not like in love with them. I've had dogs before, right? But they were always outdoor. So I just went outside and played with them. And when it was time to feed them, I put their food dog bowl down and then just watched. But this is, I'm so much more involved since this is an indoor dog. I have to house train, potty train, like teach her how to walk on a leash properly. So she's not pulling me, but just walking next to me. It's just a whole new world and I understand now all the people who freaking love their dogs. I freaking love my dog. I love you, I love you. <laughs> and also another thing that's super cool is now that I have her, I can actually use her as an excuse to leave big social events as you know, me, it's, it's me. So now instead of saying, I gotta go, I'm really tired, I'm waking up early tomorrow, which are all true things, now I can say, I gotta go, I have to feed Kiara, or I have to go, Kiara's tired, or I have to go let Kiara out of her crate, I'll see you guys later. All of those are true, they're all true things, but the latter just sounds better. <laughs> Sorry, did I spit on you? <laughs> I'm going to go make breakfast and talk to you guys in a bit. <laughs> doing this thing where I sit down to start eating. She's like, oh my gosh, wait, wait, wait. I have to go potty. You have to go potty? Please. All right, so I just finished a really good meet and greet. A lot of the times it's not about booking an appointment with me to do counseling. A lot of the times it's like, hey, I have this thing going on. What do you think I should do? And sometimes it's like, here's a meal plan. And other times I just tell them to look at a few websites or give them a few resources, which is a very good segue to what I'm gonna do next. So right now I'm working on my intuitive eating certification. I've been in the process of doing it for over a year. I've, this is like my fifth time reading the book. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm certified and learn all the things that I need to learn to help people move more into intuitive eating, which back in the day was just called eating, but now because of diet culture, which is like a $70 billion industry, $70 billion, Jenny Craig is taking your money. Back in the day, this used to be called regular eating. Now we have to call it intuitive eating because there have been so many mixed messages that just confuse people about listening to their own body. And so this is very important to me because I just think that diet culture has messed up the mentalities of so many people. So, 
yeah all that to say i'm going to work on my intuitive eating certification right now which is just going to be reading and underlining and answering questions and then i have another meet and greet so i'll just check in with you then It is nice to meet you too. I mean, meet you in the virtual flesh. <laughs> you should be fine as long as that's what you're working on. I trust that you're just not standing around on TikTok, so it's all good. Stay in communication. Like the only thing that really irks them is lack of communication. Okay, so I just finished a intern meeting. So along with like the work that I do online as a dietitian, I'm also an intern coordinator for an awesome lifestyle medicine clinic. So kind of just organizing that and talking to interns and giving them support along the way has been something that I've been enjoying doing. Um, I didn't realize how much I'd like it. I think the next couple things that I'm going to do are I'm going to finish this chapter of the intuitive eating book that I'm reading right now. And then I'm gonna go meet up with my sister. She's from Colorado. My longtime subscribers will know that I have a sister in Colorado that I visited quite often a couple of years ago before I got hella busy. And oh, and also the pandemic hit, so there's also that. So she's down and she surprised us all. So now I'm gonna go, not now, but soon I'm gonna go see her and we're just gonna hang out. And then, then I have another meet and greet later on this afternoon. And I'm still drinking this. Okay, so nobody told me that adulting would be phone call after phone call after phone call Okay, so finally getting ready. I feel like even though I'm working from home the day just goes by and also show you my super complicated makeup routine It's called put glue put the lashes on also sunscreen super important. These are the basics I always wondered what life would be like if I decided to get into makeup I wonder but i just didn't have the patience and my sisters also don't really wear a lot of makeup so i mean they wear a little bit more than me but they don't really teach me i didn't really like find it interesting this is the fit haven't bought new clothes since last year all right we made it to my parents house so i'm hanging out with my sister for a little bit my doggy, doggy, my doggy. no no gentle doggy, gentle doggy. i have a little meet and greet to do here also but i'll find an empty room I brought Kiara with me. Hi, baby. Okay, so we are now home and Luke and I are starting our workout. Can you explain what the workout is? Dude, what? It's a kettlebell circuit. Mm hmm. That I got from every goddamn Dre. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, it's some trainer that Luke follows on Instagram. Yo, squads. Yo, squads. Quadzilla. Do you want quad father? What? Do you want yoge quads? Yoge quads. I like kettlebell movements and those kind of workouts, but I also like not having to think about it. So that's why I'm doing it with Luke, so that he could just tell me what to do, and I just have fun. Any other commentary before we continue on? Yoge quads. She's not joining us. Three. <laughs> this four week single kettlebell circuit by every goddamn Dre is intense. He goes by IAH, that's his, uh, that's his principles. Integrity, attitude, and hustle. I'm drenched, dude, I'm so hot. You're the one who doesn't want to turn on the AC when you're working out. It's 83 degrees in yeah, here. Yeah, I know. Kiara's like, dying. I like it. She's not dying. She's not dying. Just seems like it. But she's not. She's sleeping. She's sleeping. I'm gonna work out a little bit ago. 
ago, maybe like half an hour ago. And now we are driving over to my friend's house. We're going to meet up and then go eat dinner. Luke's coming, Luke is driving. Kiara is riding in the front seat. And fun fact, my camera is dying, so. Classic. You don't even go here. Bro, your laptop? How many? iPad? Hey. Your cell phone? Stay dying. Hey. Stay dying. You can't just expose me like that. <laughs> this is the real world, baby. Hello. So it's now the next day. Yesterday night was so much fun. These are friends that I had made from work when I was working in the hospital and luckily we've been able to stay connected. One of them is actually a dietitian who kind of planted a seed in my head to think about the PA route. With that said, I'm going to close the vlog here. I was gonna talk about my weight gain journey just because I remember showing you guys my clothes and how I haven't bought, bought new clothes in a year. I wanted to update you on that, but I will talk about that in the next vlog. So keep an eye out for that one. Anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful morning, noon, day or night. I hope you enjoyed this vlog or enjoyed it in the background of whatever it is you're doing at home or wherever you are. And I will see you next time. Bye.